Where did that, uh, where did that rune go? Uh, that's right. I think you gotta go in here to get stuff equipped to do it. Okay. Yep, gonna keep sticking with that one for right now. It's only 15 minutes completed, so I don't see why not. <laughs> okay, let's get the hell out of here. I do hope your next wound is unique. Of course you do. You freak. Let's go. No. I think I need a new weapon. I think if I can get a new weapon that's stronger, I should be good. Invite for a dragon, please. Uh, yeah, looks like a dragon's gonna be coming back soon. Damn, that hurt. I really couldn't tell. My far didn't move, actually. Apparently, Miss Monini's ancestor was both a powerful member of the Water Clock Makers Guild and a dragon cultist with the Ring of Dragon Control. Hmm. When he died, he gave orders for the dragon Azazel to be entombed with him. You really must deal with Azazel before Valindra or the cultists gain control of him. Harper Windle has knowledge of the tomb's physical locks, but there is also a metaphysical one. I'm afraid you will have to travel to the Shadowfell to trip this final lock. Add this power. While you were hard at work in Craftsman's Rest, I had the most intriguing conversation with our young Jean. This new cult seems desperate for information. They're looking for a barbarian named Kruven Gantara, so they can find a portal to some island. They have no idea what Kruven Man, he can really get a lot of quests going. So they are trying to speak with the spirit of one of his dead adventuring companions. Let's find out where this goes. They know Messendar is buried in Neverdeath, but don't know oh, how Oh, God. So they are summoning up the spirits of any dead merchant who might have known him and quizzing them. Let's help the dead rest in peace. And well, let's go. the cult summoning rituals.
again, why am I running when I can use my mount? I don't actually see a thing telling me where to go. I guess it's up here. Okay. I guess it's just anywhere up here. Will do. Oh, sweet. Easy enough. I don't think I ever explored over here. I, I have not. Thousand two hundred to go. All right. Oh, what is this? Ah, okay. Cool. So we've got 12 of 22. Not bad. sure it says I'm out of the spot, but this has to be one of the artifacts I'm looking for. Five more. I kept trying to pick it up and it wouldn't let me at first. Weird. Awesome! One more for good measure. You never know. Really? You guys, it just brought death upon you. Just so you know. I was gonna spare you. Then you screwed up. And now you have to pay.
Oh, that hurt a lot worse than I thought it was going to. Ow, don't do it. What? Are you serious? That's a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, friend. Nice. I didn't hit the button because it's already said it. He's feeding 500 of those guys. I need to get rid of the achievement window now. Sweetness. Okay. Damn. I need all the runes you can get because not that I did. 100% the easiest thing to come across. And you need so many freaking out ones of them to refine anything, so. Whoops. Now, damn it. Oh wait, what? I thought, I thought that was him. I guess it's her. For those who fight necromancers and the undead. Nice work. Ah, perfect. Uh oh, then wheel is interesting. In about the dragon. I'm sure you know how bad it would be if that dragon gets loose, or worse yet, falls under Valindra's control. According to Chetelbel, yep. the way into the Waterclock Guild tomb is locked by a complex mechanism. Six physical seals must be activated before you can enter. The seals in the lower portion of Craftsman's Rest must be activated first, followed by the seals in the upper levels. Valindra's minions don't know about this, so they are just trying to enter the tomb by force. That gives you a chance to get there first, but you need to activate those seals. Hmm. I have.